Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you along with me as I am trying to plan meals for three days on how to feed a lot of people on a limited budget. There is nothing at the store. I'm kind of stressed out already. Like, I went two days ago. People are being crazy and buying everything. I'm going to be trying to make meals out of not a lot of ingredients to be feeding 15 people. It's gonna be interesting, keep watching. All right, so here is the plan. Texas is currently going through probably what everyone else is going through, but everything is closing down. People are freaking out. People are grabbing way too many things at the store. So for normal people who are really just trying to live their lives, there is nothing at the store and it makes it really hard to plan meals. So. Obviously, I realized how I've taken for granted how easy it is to rely on food at the store. Like you don't ever think that that's not gonna be there. And now when I go to the store, there's no bread or there's no eggs, there's no milk. And things like that, staple food items that you're used to having, when you don't have them, it makes it really hard to cook and hard to figure out what to cook. Especially when I am trying to plan meals for like 15 people. So this is currently spring break time in America. We actually had our spring break last week and so this week of school is closed. So we are gonna be going on a spring break trip with our family who is on spring break. And so I'm in charge of cooking and planning all of the meals for 10 to 15 people, which I love. That's what I do. I'm good at it, but there's no food. So I'm gonna be bringing you along with me to see how creative I can get and how I can make meals out of not a lot of food so and let's see what i can come up with while still staying on budget i'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of money on stuff just because it's there so i currently have a plan for meals a plan this is my plan for the three days that we're going to be gone on the first night which is down here we are going to have spaghetti salad garlic bread then we're gonna have like shredded chicken, like barbecue sandwiches. Um, I have so many options written down because I don't know what's gonna be there. So hopefully mac and cheese, I have beans, green beans, potatoes, bread, I don't know, something like that. One night we're gonna try to do hamburgers and hot dogs if I can find buns, that is the problem. There's not a lot of bread at the store. Lunches are gonna be easy. We're gonna do like peanut butter and jelly, chips and dips, sandwiches, even pizzas. Breakfast, I do have a breakfast casserole I can pull out that's frozen. But we're gonna do like taco stuff in the morning. One day pancakes and bacon, and then the last morning we'll just have like cereal. And then I'm gonna bring three different desserts I'm gonna make at home. Banana bread, sopapilla, cheesecake, and coffee cake. These are all $5 desserts that I'm gonna be sharing in a couple of weeks in a video, so stay tuned on how to make those. I don't know, I might have to make adjustments and find new meals. So I'm gonna bring my husband along with me because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go to like four or five different stores to make sure we have everything. And I don't wanna rely on getting it all there or grocery pickup because that's too last minute and I'm not a last minute person. I like to plan everything out. All right, we are at Walmart first. Thought about going to Aldi, but we're gonna see what we can get here because it's closer to my house. And they have a lot of stuff. So we're gonna start with the meat first. And I'm gonna need ground beef for spaghetti. How many pounds try for spaghetti? Uh, two. Before we buy all of this. Hallelujah, they have bread. They have bread. Now, I want Hot dog buns and hamburger buns. Woohoo! The small ones okay? Yeah. Got some bread. And there's no eggs. So I ended up getting two 
of this kind, but that's pretty much it. Trey, what about bacon? A walk. Two or three? I think just two. For hamburgers. And you're not gonna hide from me. And we're gonna do cups. Cups are definitely looking a little bare. Not a lot to choose from. At least they're not out of coffee. This one. Pancakes. And syrup. And all the flour for all my baking. Yeah. Should I go with small ones? For baking. There's one over there, one left. Okay, grab one. And we have whole wheat thin, we can do that. So we got the spaghetti noodles and all the spaghetti sauce. All the spaghetti sauce is gone. I have a thing of Velveeta at home. I was gonna make cheese dip. So I got the Rotel. Chills with cheese. This one? Two. Mac and cheese. A wing sauce. I have a bunch of barbecue sauce at home. I was gonna do like one barbecue sauce and then the one like hot wings. Buffalo wing? Oh, you want that? I don't think that's a spicy. Pickles for hamburgers. Slices. Hamburger dill chips. That's cool. And for sandwiches. French fries. Pretty empty. I'm gonna do a mixture. That'd be fun. Texas toast. So, so far, not too many problems with planning meals. Cannot find any milk. So, I'm gonna have to look other places for milk. Tomatoes. All right, so this is what we have, minus milk. And we're waiting on the lunch meat. All right, we're done. Trey went to go get a case of water. That's like gold around here. So I'm thinking this is under 200, I'm hoping. 150 would be great. I didn't really put out prices because I wasn't sure like what I was gonna get. So we will see. This is why I brought you. It's huh. <laughs> <sighs> true. All right, one. 85. Not too bad. Three days feeding like 10 to 15 people. And I'm so surprised. Milk was the only thing. Stayed under my budget of 200. And we basically got everything. So I'm so relieved. We didn't have to go to a million stores. So if you are worried that your stores aren't having stuff, they're slowly getting stuff out again and things are gonna be back to normal, so don't be afraid. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that you thought this was fun and interesting. Make sure to tune into next week's video. I'm going to be sharing with you 10 super easy ways to save money on your grocery budget. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye, everyone.